So then all of these are the hairs, and then those tiny spines are the stingers that have the venom. I was going out to the Texas Medical Center almost every day to gather samples for my own project, and I was really just wandering around um, looking at the trees, uh, the netted trees. The Med Center has put up these large uh, nets to deter pest urban birds, things like grackles and pigeons that accumulate in urban environments. But as an indirect consequence, they've stopped all the uh, insectivorous birds that would be feeding on these trees. And I just kind of noticed uh, randomly that there were all of these asps on the, on the tree. And so we thought this was a wonderful, kind of natural, already occurring experiment that we could exploit. What happens when you remove an apex predator from an environment. And we focused on the southern flannel moth, which as a caterpillar is called the pus caterpillar or the asp, ASP. This caterpillar is one of North America's most venomous caterpillars, causes a very powerful sting, but it's an herbivorous caterpillar that feeds on the leaves of many trees here in Southeast Texas. It's a really painful sting. I've been stung by a lot of things and this definitely ranked up there. It actually takes a while for it to actually set in. And so that it's, um, you know, it takes about 10 minutes before the pain actually starts kicking in. So you don't even realize, you might not even realize that it's from that caterpillar. It feels like a broken bone. Like it's an intense pain right at the site. So what you're visualizing right here are pupil cases of many of the asp caterpillar as they're transitioning to the southern flannel moth. The pattern in the data is overwhelming. That data is pretty striking and, and I think um, it's highly suggestive that um, when you don't take into account the natural interactions that are going on, even in an urban setting like this, um, it can have these unforeseen consequences. We observed a 7,000% increase in the number of caterpillars we observe here where birds are, are not uh, around to feed on the caterpillars versus places like Rice Campus, which are in more in balance, where you have the plants, the herbivores, and their predators present. The thing that I thought was interesting about the ASP project is it is so directly related to what we do as humans and the, the population that is really underneath all of these. The, the ASPs is the people that are going to the medical center, and that's a pretty vulnerable population, so I think that gives the work sort of extra meaning outside of just the, the intrinsic desire to know what's going on in the world around us. 